Welcome back everyone to the Dion Training Channel. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over some A plus BBQs to help you pass the exam and get a higher score. So before we begin, what are BBQs? Basically, BBQs are practice-based questions. These are questions that mimic real life scenarios that Contia likes to put in the exam. These are usually the hardest questions in the exam and they take the most amount of time. In these kind of questions, Comtia likes to put you in some kind of simulation to test your critical thinking and troubleshooting abilities. Sometimes they're really easy and straightforward and sometimes they need a lot of thinking and a lot of troubleshooting to go through. In this video, I'm gonna go over two or three BBQs that vary in difficulty and style to help you get a feel of how they are in the real exam. I'm also gonna explain my answers, why I answered those questions in that way so that you can do better on your exam and have that kind of troubleshooting or critical thinking mentality that helps you on any question of the exam, not just if you get this kind of question. Now, let's get into it right away. First off, we have a CompTIA BBQ. I'm just gonna read the scenario real quick and we're gonna get into it. It says, you've just been hired as a director of customer support for a new IT services company. Your first order of duty is to establish a troubleshooting framework for how incoming customer support representatives will handle customer issues. Your goal is to create a framework that quickly and efficiently resolves customer issues while also determining causes so that such issues can be avoided in the future. Now, for you to know, CompTIA likes to put real long scenarios in those questions, and most likely, they're just a lot and a lot of words and word salads. Most of the time, they don't include that much information, but you need to read all the way through them in order for you to have any kind of information that they provide. But most of the time, CompTIA just likes to throw you away. Drag the steps of the troubleshooting model into the correct order. So this is a very basic one, and you might get a one like that on the exam, but I'm gonna explain how later. So we have this kind of flow chart, and all we need to do is put the steps in the right order. And if you've studied for the A+, Network+, Plus, Security+, Plus exams, you probably know this, it's very easy. The first step is to identify the problem. All right, and after we identify the problem, we establish a theory of probable cause. After we establish the theory, the third step is to test to determine the cause. So we test the theory that we previously established to actually determine the cause. Um, after that, we establish a plan to resolve the problem. This is very basic, very straightforward. And then we implement the solution or escalate it to someone who can actually implement the solution for this problem. After we do that, we verify full system functionality. And finally, we document actions, findings, and outcomes. This is very basic and it's a very basic question. Okay, let's check the score. And we got seven out of seven, very basic. However, whenever we go through the real exam, this is not gonna be like this. It's not gonna list out the exact steps of the troubleshooting methodology. Actually, on the real exam, what CompTIA might do is that they will lay out some kind of scenario. They're gonna put you in a real world scenario that says, okay, you're in the system, this is a problem, your PC is doing this kind of problem, what would you do? And then you would list out the real life actions, not the actions from the troubleshooting methodology. So it's gonna lean more towards a real world situation and not just theoretical troubleshooting methodology that you find in the CompTIA textbook. This was a really easy one, so let's move on to something a little bit harder and crank up the difficulty a little bit. Okay, for this BBQ, this is a little bit different. This one mimics a ticketing systems that you would use as a help desk technician. It's very common that CompTIA likes to play around with those ticketing system scenarios because they really test you out as an agent. So basically, when they give you this kind of ticketing system on the exam, they won't really tell you what to do or when to do it. They won't tell you what works and what doesn't. You just kind of have to figure it out yourself. You know, what is clickable, what is not. You can just kind of hover over it to get a feel for how the system works. And then you would go through the tickets and actually resolve them or choose the resolution for each ticket. Whenever you get this kind of ticketing system on the exam, you need to be very careful of how you click or order the tickets. As you see here, the tickets have some kind of priority. So this ticket is urgent, this one is medium, and this one is high. 
So if they allow you to order them on the exam, that's actually better. However, in this kind of ticketing scenario, it won't allow us to order the tickets. So it's gonna base the score on how we actually click on the tickets. So first one we need to do, go over to the urgent one and it says internet is down. So we click on that. So the internet is down again. The little orchy thing that is at the top of my screen that says the internet working is gray instead of black. We restarted the device in our computers. We have a report to send to a client immediately. We need help. It seems that the internet is not working for this user or any of the computers around the office. It also seems that they restarted the routers and they restarted their computers and still nothing is working. And it says the little archy thing at the top is gray, which she is referring of course to the Wi-Fi icon. We have here the resolution options. We have a big list of things to choose from. What we're gonna do is that we're just gonna read through them right away. So tell them run an antivirus software. Of course, that's not right. Um, here we have close out some of the applications. That's not right. Have them check if airplane mode is on so that's not right. The best kind of scenario to solve this situation is to send a technician to fix the problem because they have a report that they need to send and they need the internet immediately. The best thing is to send out someone to check out the internet and check if there's something to be done. So we're gonna check send a technician to fix the problem and then back to the main screen and we're gonna set the ticket to resolve. So you might say, um, why not choose pending if the issue is not yet resolved? Well, the ticket is handled. We already handled the ticket on our side. That's why we set it to resolved. All right, now onto the next one, which has the high priority and it says wrong password. So we're gonna click on that. It says, I'm sorry to bother you. I changed my password last Friday. I didn't write it down because you guys always say you shouldn't write it down. How can I remember it if I can't write it down? Anyway, predictably, I have forgotten it. I have some paperwork to fill out, but I would like to get on my computer soon. So in this kind of situation, as a help desk agent, all you need to do is send them the procedure or the instructions for the password reset process. So we're gonna click on resolution options. We're gonna try to find the answer. And here you go, we find it, send directions for the reset process. We're gonna click on that and then back to the main screen and then we're gonna set it to resolve. All right, and now onto the last ticket which has the medium priority. We click on it, daily reminders. It says, my boss keeps telling me to use the daily reminders application to stay on task. What are daily reminders? Are they something on the computer? I use note cards and just write what I have to do. If that's on the computer, where? How do I set them up? The cards work well, I hate this computer. All right, now we have some kind of angry user who doesn't really like to use the application that their boss wants them to use. So all we need to do, okay, we click on resolution options, tell them to run antivirus software, that's not correct. Send directions for setting up the software. We got lucky here. So send directions for setting up the software. This is gonna help them actually set up the daily reminders application and start using it as their boss wants. So we're gonna click on that and then back to the main screen and we set it to resolved. And that means our scenario is done. All we need to do is to check the score and we got a nine out of nine. So as you see here, this is very basic, very straightforward. Um, all you need to do is just think about it as an agent and get a feel of how you would do this in real life. Now, of course, CompTIA will not provide you with a lot of information on the exam. They're gonna be very, very strict about the amount of information that they provide. They always like to keep you in the dark during the exam. So we're just gonna have to figure it out as you go. My advice would be when you're going through the exam, don't do the BBQs first because they can burn a lot in a lot of time. Just go through the normal questions first and then when you're done with them, go back and use the rest of your time for the BBQs because they're gonna require a lot of thinking, especially in the higher level exams like the CISA Plus or the Pentest Plus. However, in the A Plus, Network Plus and Security Plus exams, the difficulty is not that high, but still they require a lot of thinking on your side and it's not an easy process to go through. So these were just two examples of the kind of BBQs that you could see on the A Plus exam. And I'm testing out to see if you guys like this kind of video. If you enjoyed it and you think you got some kind of benefit out of it, please let me know down in the comments and I'll gladly make more BBQ videos for you guys out there. Also, don't forget to check out DionTrading.com for the best IT certification courses out there and the best prices on vouchers. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next one.